Hello, I'm Jay Cross. This is my backyard in Berkeley, California. And I want to talk with you because Robin Sherrill and Terry Farmer were kind enough to invite me to an Eaton University event that you'll be at too. That happens in about a couple of weeks. And I thought, well, you know, rather than just walking cold, it might be good if I planted a few ideas with you first. I'm a believer in informal learning. And by informal learning, I mean the stuff that doesn't happen in classrooms and isn't necessarily scheduled, but is the way that we learn to do most of our work and is also a, a secret of bringing on innovation. I've written a book on the topic, but I don't really want to talk about the book. <laughs> Because it, it's, it's a bit formal. You know, I think it, there's sort of several types of learning. There's uh, stuff that happens in classrooms and workshops and books and whatever. And that's great if you're brand new to a field and you need sort of a, a grounding. You need to talk the talk. You need to know some of the basics. But, you know, after you've got experience under your belt and have sort of a, a tapestry, a mental framework for dealing with things, that's boring as hell. I mean, you're not going to listen at all. What you want to do is have the opportunity to sort of fill the holes in the mental tapestry to find out what you need to know. And that means making it easier to locate expert knowledge and making it like culturally okay to go and talk with people about things, to uh, encourage the use of visual since it's often easier to understand visual information than the written word and a whole bunch of other stuff. So that's what we want to talk about, at least during my time slot, and probably the following evening and a little bit of the morning uh, in a couple of weeks. I think loosening up fewer rules. There's a Dutch traffic engineer named Hans Mortemann. Hans unfortunately died in January, but he'd, he'd done some marvelous work. Where, wherever Hans went, the traffic accident rate dropped by 50%, and people started obeying the speed limit. And unlike most traffic engineers, he didn't come in and put new signs and signals. No, he took them away. He ripped that stuff down because he realized that if we rely on signs, we stop relying on judgment. Not a good idea. Because people cease to be adults, members of the community, and they become drivers. And driving is their only thing. And you, if you're like me, when you see a sign out on the highway and it goes, hey, curve ahead, you know, 35, that means better not go over 50. Whereas if there's no sign at all and there's a curve on the road, well, you slow down because you don't know what's going to be there. Now, I tell you this because I, when I hear the term trainees, it's like drivers. I mean, it's as if we need signposts and you tell somebody they're a trainee or even a learner and they're going to flip the switch off. They're no longer going to be smart people. I mean, what we're about is helping people be more productive in their work, helping them have a more fulfilling job, working with others, having a good time for them, having a good time for Eaton. Now, there's a lot of information available on this, and I'm not going to try to sell you anything, but if you want, there's a 10-minute video on YouTube where I go over sort of the, the highlights, uh, the essence, if you will, of informal learning. And I've also put a number of chapters from my books, papers, articles, presentations, etc. up on the web. And sort of the doorway to all of this stuff is my website, jcross, J-A-Y-C-R-O-S-S dot -S com. And I'd encourage you to spend... Oh, 15 minutes or more looking at that before we get together because I think it'll make a more fulfilling experience for you. That said, I'm really looking forward to joining you and chatting in a couple of weeks. Uh, 
Eaton's doing some marvelous things. And frankly, it excites me a lot more than the, the sort of the banks and service companies that uh, are sort of my, my stock in trade these days. So see you in a couple of weeks. And here, I'll let you look at the redwood trees in the backyard one more time. <laughs> Goodbye.